like I say, for the longest time, I wouldn't even talk to humans. I'd be like, because humans would be like, blah, 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 this, that, another. And I wouldn't even talk to humans because I would be like, unless you're 10,000 years old or 100, when I was before, you know, I was like, because they would be like, blah, blah, we don't feel or we think or our scientist says. And it's like, I'm not even going to talk to someone unless they are... 10,000 years old, or and I mean legitimately 10,000 years old, not just some guy going, I'm 10,000 years old. It's like, uh, you're probably not. Very few are. And prove it. And I could prove it. So, um, and Rick Bush and Rodney are like, well, prove it now. Now that you've said all that, as they scribble it down, like, like I said, I would, I, I told them exactly how I'd prove my age if I telling them all this different stuff. And they were scribbling it down. I was like, are you scribbling down harder, faster, so you can lie and pretend to be me? Richard Nix was like, yeah, I was like, I was, I was like, could you slow down a minute? <laughs> like, oh, okay, I'll slow down so you can re so you can write down what I'm saying so you can run out there to the public and tell them everything I say pertain to be me. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all that the Republicans and Richard Nixon and all the others were doing when I was proving my age. Because I was like, well, I can easily prove my age without even, you know, looking to the news. So, anyway... Because I had a very accurate idea of what had been going on in the galaxy the last couple million trillion years. Anyway, they scribbled it all down and then they went out there and told the public how, how it really was. And then they blasted on the, on the TV, on the internet, all this fake stuff to try and confuse me. And that's pretty much what, it's, what it came down to. Anyway, um, anyway, like I said, it was they, and then they killed off anyone else that would know any different. Anyway, though, you know, it they were so psychotic and so just whatever. Like, they attacked Korea. They attacked all my bases. They attacked my bases in Germany. They attacked Korea. They went into Vietnam not knowing about my about my aircraft, my hidden aircraft hangar. Like I said, I had that aircraft hangar inside that one mountain. And now they say, oh, it's the deepest, biggest cave. Uh, the cave eroded the limestone for 10,000 years, and that's how it got to be. It's like, no... Actually, I had a mine there, a lime, a limestone mine or whatever, and they were mining for for the for the stuff inside for the Panama Canal because it needed a lot of concrete. I needed, I needed, I mean, I needed Panama size amounts of concrete. Like I built all these projects, I built all these cities, and so I needed like the amount the the same kind of amount of concrete that went into Panama. I needed to get from somewhere, so. So, you know, when I, when I was digging for that, I was like, hey, let's make an aircraft car uh, aircraft base out of it, you know, instead of having it inside of a, inside of a mountain, I mean, inside of a hangar, let's do it inside of a mountain. Why not? Wouldn't that be cool? Anyway, so I had that base there for like 150 years or a long time, and it was there and functioning and stuff, and, and Germany had designed it, and they built it for me, and eventually it was scrapped later on, or Richard Nixon eventually, like, because it was causing a problem, I guess, for the Vietnam vets, because they would be killing innocent women and children, and my planes would blow and go and attack or something. Uh, because, you know, and, and Rodney didn't know about it. The Vietnam veterans, I guess, didn't know that I had all these air bases, and some of them were hidden until they started killing and raping whoever, and then they were like, oh, shit, there is a defense force there. It's like, oh, you didn't know about that? Yeah, I built that a couple years ago. I think that was, that was like $2 million of my money or something like that. Or, I don't know, like $1,000 of my money. I mean, $1,000 used to go a long ways. So, you know, I mean, I had all these bases everywhere and everything. And, and uh, England used it. Uh, uh, Japan used it. Or, or Chinese used it. I mean, it was my aircraft, my hidden aircraft base. And then they start talking about how... Hitler has all these hidden secret bases and he's going to destroy the world and this and that. It's like, um, that's really actually me. Like, that's actually like, like, like me and, um, and not someone named Adolf Hitler and all that other stuff because I was the richest person in the world and stuff like that. And some stupid idiot named Rodney and Rosalie Riley and some other people wanted to try and lie about it, I guess. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, I know... I know certain parts of it, and they were like, and they were, and all they saw was dollar signs and money. But it's like I created the idea of money and stuff. So, and they were just like thinking that they could just kill and force whoever they wanted to take over. And it's like I own eighty galaxies. 
I just didn't brag about it and say that I owned 80 galaxies when Rodney found me. I was like, I was like, well, I own this star. And they're like, oh, well, it's one star. That's it. All we got to do is just take over this one planet and we own. And it's like, um, actually, there's 80 galaxies out there that, 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 that owe their existence to me when you get right down to it. Anyway, and that's why Richard Nixon was, was, was actually making a fool of himself going, all those particles you see, those are actually just reflected light, just trying to make people think that, that, there was, um, that there wasn't galaxies out there and that they could get away with this. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like I say, I mean, I don't know, realistically. I mean, I can't tell you, I can't rationalize the crazy existence that is what then Sandy that... Um, couple of people who were probably on LSD at the time, I'm not really sure, <laughs> um, like Richard Nixon and all that other stuff, and John McCain, you know, how like, like those, those necklaces that are in those, all those museums, those were like from my Panama mine, from my other mines around the world, I own those mines, so, like when people just wanted to lie and say that they were the president, and, and they were always lying about being the president of America. And they're always lying about being the supreme leader of, of Germany. I was the leader of Germany and the leader of, of Russia. So, I mean, I am the supreme leader. I'm the only one that I know of as far as the countries. I mean, I own, I mortgaged Germany against Panama and, you know, in order to buy it. And because I, I think I had German mines or something like that. I had mining, I had my, I could always take gold from one mine and give it to some other people and be like, here you go, have some metal, have some whatever. I mean, I was very rich. I was always very rich. I built the Titanic with, with the metal from my mines. So otherwise there wouldn't be a Titanic and there was actually three Titanics or there's like two smaller ones and then one big one. I just, I was like, <laughs> there's actually the Titanic one, two, and three and um, whole generations grew up on the Titanic. There's actually stories about how, like, well, my son will be will be captaining the ship after me. And there's actually, like, lots of ships, even spaceships probably, out there that that people grew up on. I mean, there are people that, that got married. I mean, the whole idea of marriage was actually my idea. So, I mean, every marriage... <laughs> Uh, I mean, the whole idea of two people getting married together, being together for the rest of their lives, like that. I started that. Like, all these traditions were my traditions. So, anyway. <laughs>